day in Queen Anne's County. It's Agricultural Awareness Day, and I have found the two women that make this possible. So all the seventh graders, in the, in the today and tomorrow, all the seventh grad graders in the whole county, and all of Queen Anne's County will be here. So we picked seventh grade because we feel like they're getting ready for high school. So we want to teach them about agriculture, number one, and number two, about careers in agriculture. So every station, they'll go to five stations today, and they'll learn about what it is to farm in Queen Anne's County or Maryland, Delmarva. Right, we all anywhere do, is yeah, right. We all do a lot of the same things. And you're going to go talk to a lot of the people Can't that wait. are helping and teaching. And I'm going to go talk to all the kids that are in the area. And I'm going to ask them some fun questions. And I couldn't let you guys off the hook. Uh -huh. So I'm going to ask you some fun questions. What's your favorite animal here? Chickens. Chickens. Come on, isn't there more to life than just chickens? No, no. No, okay. <laughs> if you could only plant one vegetable to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Sweet corn. <laughs> Sweet corn. <laughs> Sweet, you need help with that answer. I like them all. I can't <laughs> pick one. Your job is to keep everyone moving efficiently and to get the children here well that's important <laughs> we gotta have kids yeah so the first station that we have is today's agriculture technology so they learn about drones they learn about the gps system with tractors and planters and then they learn about grain so they talk about gmos and nutrient management what's your favorite thing about ag day animals <laughs> well you haven't got to them but yeah animals what animal are you most excited to see a horse horse goat Go why goat <laughs> <laughs> if you could only plant one vegetable, rest of your life to eat, what would it be? Tomato. Corn. <laughs> from, the, from the gallery, that is the correct answer. I'm sorry that you were wrong. This is Ag Technology. We have an auto steer tractor here, and we're teaching them how the auto steer helps with the uh, placement of inputs on, out in the field, how we eliminate skips and overlaps, use less inputs, grow better crops. Today we are speaking about grains. So we're talking about the different grains that are grown here in Queen Anne's County, including corn, soybeans, and wheat. Um, and then we're talking more specifically about corn, which is the um, biggest grown crop here in Queen Anne's County. Um, we're talking about different products that contain corn in the grocery store. We're talking about the different parts of the corn plant. And then we're also speaking about how Maryland farmers are working to protect the Chesapeake Bay. All right, you guys having fun today? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about Ag Day Go? Just get to learn things. Oh, the animals. Animals, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say the that. games. Games? Yeah. The corn. The corn? The corn? Yeah. There's animals the and there's games, but I love the corn. I already said that. Well, you could have said the same thing. Oh, I like the animals. You want me to re edit it so it looks like you said animals the first time? Yeah. I'm definitely not going to do that. All right. Favorite animal? A turtle. <laughs> that was here. <laughs> Does it matter? Favorite animal that's here? A goat. All right, you guys got to get to your next station. Favorite animal ever? Rabbit. Favorite animal here? Horse. All right, get to your next station, guys. Thanks. Then we go to aquaculture, where we learn about the oyster industry and how it helps clean the bay. I'm teaching the seventh graders today from Queen Anne's about oyster farming, basically what it entails, uh, how I got into it. I'm from Eastern Shore. I'm from Chestertown, from Kent County. Nice, yeah. Not too far up the road. Um, and I started this business about three years ago. So I'm just sharing how I got into it, uh, what it takes, and then potentially if there's interested in marine biology or biology, environmental science, um, or even looking at oysters as a potential business, um, kind of how what you know what goes into that and what that entails. What has been your favorite thing about Ag Day? Uh, this part. This is fun. This part. Have you seen the animals yet? Yes. So you like this more than the animals? Yeah, because I think this is gonna be fun. What did we name the pigs? Rachel, Joanne, and Patrick. All right. Favorite part about Ag Day? Um, planting the little seeds. Oh yeah. What'd you plant? Um, beets. Beets. <laughs> beets. Uh, I got to hold baby goats. Hold, oh, you held a baby, I can't wait to do that. Favorite part? Um, hold baby goats, but other than that, I liked petting the sheep, because they were, um, very soft. Seeing pigs. Just seeing, pigs. <laughs> seeing pigs. I just saw the pigs. Oh, okay. well, We got to hold baby goats today. Okay, we held baby goats. Baby goats. That was the most, yeah. that was the most exciting thing. Yeah, and we got to feed them with milk, with bottles. I love seeing the kids realize how agriculture is in our daily lives, mm -hmm. and when their eyes open up when they find out what their makeup is made of. Ooh, that's, oh, that's an awesome one. That's favorite part. actually a really good one. Yeah? Um, I, the pigs, by far, were my favorite. I by love pigs. far, the pigs. Favorite part about Ag Day? Uh, holding a baby goat. Ooh, what'd you name him? Uh, Ray, 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 okay. If you could only plant one vegetable and eat it the rest of your life, what would it be? Carrots. What's your favorite thing about Ag Day? Uh, the animals. The animal? What's your favorite animal? 
Uh, goat. Favorite animal that's here? Goat. A uh, horse. A horse. Do you want me to let you off the hook? Yeah. All right, you can go now. Thank you, ladies. I think so much fun. Lynn, we go to the green stuff where we plant a plant and we learn about conventional organic and we also learn about the nursery industry. We're talking about kind of real, real life vegetable farming and um, the differences between organic and conventional vegetable production. We're talking food safety, nutrient management, um, fresh vegetables versus um, sort of processed foods like corn and soybeans and different labor that it takes to do both and different machines that it takes to do vegetables versus like a grain crop. I'm teaching the kids how to plant um, any type of seed from kale, collards, greens, cabbage, uh, lettuce, beets, turnips, radishes. I also teach them a little bit about the production side, how um, it goes from the greenhouse to the field, and that's just not direct seeding into the ground. Um, my hope is that they take these plants home and raise them, and hopefully in the fall they'll have That's nice head of lettuce or nice turnip. I mean, turnips aren't really tasty, but hey, right, yeah. it's the thought that counts. That's it's really right. cool. What's your favorite thing you've done today? This, probably. This? Have you seen the animals yet? Yeah. So you'd rather look at lettuce than animals. <laughs> What's in your hand? Plant. <laughs> what kind of plant? Lettuce. Lettuce? What kind of lettuce? Iceberg? Sure. What's your favorite animal here? Here? Um, a goat. Who's your favorite teacher? Not him. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a shot of him? What's his name? Mr. Dewey. Not Mr. Dewey. Hi, Mr. Dewey. Hi. Why did you sing about Haley? She really wanted to be on no, camera. And she, she begged me to put to bring her over here so she could be part of this interview. I is was just doing my best to be helpful. Why? Is she one of your favorite students? I'm not. I'm not. Your favorite thing about being here at Ag Day today? I get out of school. As you can see behind me, Mr. George Mayo from the Maryland Agricultural Education Foundation, the executive director, is explaining to the kids a little bit about the nursery side of the growing. Then we get to go to Farm Animal Station where you get to learn about like the byproducts and the products that animals produce and get to hand feed them and touch them and play nice. with them so the children get to interact. Well, one of the things we want to teach the kids today is the reality of animals. A lot of the kids come through here, they've never interacted with animals. How many of y'all have interacted with animals before? So we got a few. By, by that do I mean, how many of you interact with farm animals? So we get a couple, but a lot of them still think of farm animals as the storybooks that they're seeing. So we want to teach them what farm animals really are. We raise animals because as humans, we have to eat something. Right. And no well, matter what we eat, something dies. And we want people to understand that, that we do that in a way that really is beneficial to us, the animals, and everybody. So each station, we have different stations. There's mm -hmm. poultry. Chickens, we got chickens, which is the number one product we have here in Maryland. We raise more chickens than anything else. And, Poultry accounts for over 40% of our farm income, so it's very important. And one of the things we want people to understand is how important that is to the rest of the economy. Because we have that poultry industry, our grain, our grain farmers have a premium to their crops, so they actually get a higher price for their crop, which helps our all the economy and it goes around. So it's not just chickens, it's actually the whole farm community comes together into one product. The kids are learning how agriculture is developed with horses, from like pulling the plows in the garden to just being able to ride them and having them on the farm around here. And I've asked a lot of the kids today what they've learned in general today, what their favorite part was, and a lot of them said, I didn't realize how how much agriculture was a part of my everyday life. And I think that's a really big deal because without our farmers and without everybody in the community, we wouldn't have food on our table. All the kids were asking like, where do steaks come from? Where's the sirloin on the cow? Where's the brisket with ribs and stuff like that? And I just feel like it's really important to, to know where, where every, everything comes from, where your food comes from. So, and then they're also asking how old can they get and just different, different stuff about cows. So I think that's a pretty important part. Did he nail that? Uh, yep. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, so I breed Angus cattle. I raise about 30 head of cows every year, and we sell show stock pr primarily. Um, we show all over the country. Um, so, yeah. It's definitely like teaching them the other side of agriculture yes, growing and expanding. Yeah, there's the production side, and then there's the show world, which helps a lot. Um, the biggest thing I've heard kids today is saying that they think their meat comes from the grocery store. They don't understand that there's a step before the grocery store comes How from the producer. How it gets to the yes. grocery store. So. I think it's really important that at this age they're learning where their food's coming from, how it's grown, what's involved into it, and the careers and possibilities that are around that. Definitely. We were saying on the other side how there's drones now and the technology yes. tractor drives yes. itself. That's a whole, it's a whole other level. Yeah. I mean, farms are getting bigger. There's less people in agriculture, but there's a lot of varieties around that. We can still find a career 
and you can still live in this county and do a good living. So that's what we're working for. Well, I've been involved in 4-H for nine years. I raised pigs. In the past, I have raised beef cattle and also rabbits. And um, I just love agri agriculture. My family has come from an agricultural background. And in the future, I hope to stay active in agriculture and maybe possibly pursue a career. What number are you on? Third team. What does it say? How long does a mare or female horse carry her full? What's the answer? 11 months. What's your name? Nicole. Was that correct? Yes. Good job, Nicole. Woo! Hey, Nicole. Give it a thumbs up. Look over here. What's our most exciting thing happening over here right now? Uh, I like the goats. The goats? The goats. Are fun the fun. goats. Favorite thing over here happening? Uh, definitely the goats. The goats. Yes. Definitely the goats. Do we have our papers out? Are we filling out our things? No. 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 Why not? Because yes. the goats. We're only growing one vegetable the rest of our lives to eat. What is it? Carrots. Corn. Corn. Brussels sprouts. Ew. Ew. Oh, no, 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 no! Awesome answer! And then the last one's kind of a fun game. It's called My Future. So we learn about FFA, um, which is the agriculture organization in our high school, and they get to learn about how they can enroll in that and to be involved in what FFA has because they have a lot of leadership opportunities. And then they get to play leadership games and team building activities. What a day this has been. The kids are ecstatic, and it's so much fun. So what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> they're playing hold on. they're playing ag charades uh -huh. so we're gonna give them a word um something agricultural and they're gonna have to act it out oh yes hold on 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 as a impartial judge we won good job guys TV doesn't lie! And this event that you put on could not be possible without the people that sponsor it. Oh my so gosh, yeah. Definitely. We have 70 plus volunteers here nice. today. So it's kind of coming together of all the ag organizations and the Board of Ed. So from Maryland um, Department of Ag to the um, Farm Service Agency to the Queen Anne Soil Conservation District. Um, funding comes from local farmers give us money, the Maryland grain producers. Um, give us money. There's local farmers here teaching. So it's just a really good collaboration of all farmers because us individually, we like Extension couldn't do it, Farm Bureau couldn't do it, but when all of us come together, it takes we, can, a village. we can, that's right. right, we can do great things. That's right. This is so amazing. It's such a great opportunity for our students, whether they live on a farm or whether they don't, right. to come out and see all of the opportunities that there may be in agriculture, even if they are just interested in seeing the animals and the plants and how life works on a farm. Definitely. It is an outstanding opportunity. So yes, it's a great day. We have a great partnership with uh, Maryland Extension Office and um, Queen Anne's County um, Farms Bureau. And we have just an absolute wonderful day where our students can come out, learn about our community, our agricultural community, and learn all the different components that we have uh, within that community. Oh. Well, UAC TV. Yeah. Wow.